It's another beautiful time here where we hand blues and of course uh, enjoy ourselves this morning. It's time for newspaper review. But of course, you know, I don't do this alone in the studios. I've got my gorgeous queen who is always beside me every Friday. And she calls us TGI Friday's edition. You said always, but you were not here last week Friday. But then you, I don't want you to tried, talk about that. You tried. Alice, you, you, covered, you covered for me last yes, week, right? Good morning. <laughs> Welcome to the TGIF edition of Good Morning and Amber. My name is Chidin Maharangwa. All right, then it's time for us to go for the newspaper review. Stay with us. All right, it's good to have you back uh, as we move uh, over to um, stories making the headlines this morning on our national dailies. We have someone in the studios, a very important personality, a man of integrity, a learned human being. That's what I call him. <laughs> Talking about Mazi Osita Onyemobi. Good morning, and it's good to have you on this show. Yeah, good morning, dear Nambra. Please reserve the word learned for the lawyers <laughs> before I fall into trouble. <laughs> All right, uh, welcome to the show. Thank you. All right, uh, let's begin with uh, stories making the headlines on our ABS website. Stakeholders call for review of national education policy to meet emerging challenges. Edinburgh Assembly passes 2019 appropriation bill of over 157 billion naira. Edinburgh traditional prime ministers give soccer to destitutes and community children's homes. 2022 World Cup Football Federation backs increase in number of teams. For more, Hanez, the President Ikedi for late to rest at Newi. These are the stories making headlines on our ABS website. I think we should start from the beginning. Stakeholders calling for review of national education policies to meet emerging challenges. Yeah, I think that would be a great one because uh, it's as if our education is going from bad to worse. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, uh, the policies are outdated. Ideally, there should be a review of policy within three to five years, you know, to meet up with the global demand. But you discover that in Nigeria, we use 20, 25 years policy, uh, policies made 20, 25 years ago, you know, in this contemporary world. Yeah. So there should be a constant review to ensure that it's competitive, you know, it meets with the international, uh, you know, educational policies. And uh, so I think I joined that call for the review of uh, national educational policy. All right, let's, let's look at the second one. An Umbrella Assembly passes 2019 appropriation bill of over 157 billion naira. Yeah, that's another good one because uh, that is what will propel Anambra to greater heights. And uh, I must commend uh, the State Assembly for the quick passage. A lot of people have criticized why it was so fast and uh, whatnot. And, and I, I want to ask them, do they want us to continue a situation whereby a budget will be passed in the middle of the year? Like it happened during P2B's time that a budget for that year was passed around August, September. We, I mean, or even in Nigeria. <laughs> yeah, I mean, in Nigeria, that shouldn't be. You know, when these things are given quick attention yeah. and, you know, it's facilitated, it should be passed within one or two weeks. So I've not seen anything wrong with that passage. It simply shows that Anambra State House of Assembly understand the need for, mm -hmm. you know, that passage and give every commitment towards actualizing it. So yes. kudos to Anambra State the Government and the House of Assembly. All right, um, um, you know the season All we right. are in yes. right now, it's season to show love. And exactly. then the traditional prime ministers in Anambra State gave soccer to the destitute and less privileged in society. I'm so happy to hear that. You know, I, I think uh, they've taken the lead. 
and uh, I must commend them for that. And I must also advise everybody to follow. So this is the season to so to show show more, show more, uh, I mean love to you know the less privileged to your neighbors to the destitute to the downtrodden. And uh, anybody doing that is actually uh, doing it in line with the love Jesus Christ showed for us to have left the throne of grace to come down to this world to die for us. So you know, and I, I commend them. It's a season of love. All right, let's, let's quickly move on. 2022 World Cup, Football Federation backs increasing number of teams. Of course, we know in the World Cup, we've got 32. Right now, it looks as if the FIFA is really looking about making it 42 or thereabouts. Yeah, that will give more slots to even the African countries, you know. So it's a good one, you know. Okay. That shows that we are developing, you know, in sports. Initially, it wasn't 32. You yeah, know, it, it was, I mean, it was, it's yeah, this it continuous increasing, review yeah. that brought it up to this. So yeah. it's a good one. It gives more people uh, opportunity, opportunity to participate mm -hmm. in the global game. All right, I uh -huh. think we should move over to our next paper, talking about the Seoul newspaper. Uh, Banner headline says, 2019 budget, revs threatened by Kurtz. Express anger over minister's comments. I didn't accuse National Assembly of delay. That is Senator Udo Udoma. Court sacks Okachiku as Abga senatorial candidate in Anambra. As we are present appropriation bill Wednesday, 2019 budget reps. Okay, I've read that one. 71 reps sponsored bill seeking return to parliamentary government. 2019, no diaspora voting. INEC insists. And then down there we see electoral body creating uh, LIGO polling centers in Chad and Nijay. Okay, PDPs. Presidency explains why Buhari didn't sign electoral bill. Loyalty I'll, will now be rewarded. Buhari promises supporters. All right. Okay. You now see what we're saying story. about the budget in Alhambra State. You mm -hmm. can now see something like that is already happening with the national budget. Yeah. We are the reps. You know, members are threatening for a boycott, mm. you know, over ministers' comments. So these are the kind of things we, we don't want. We mustn't politicize everything, you know. No matter what the minister has said, they have their job, you know, to ensure a speedy passage of the budget, you know. And that will also help us grow our economy. So they should leave politics. They should leave what the minister has said and carry out with their legislative duties. Mm. Uh, that's very important. Then on the note of uh, Okachuku being sacked by a you know, court, a court, court in Abuja, a, 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 a high court in Abuja, sacking Okachuku that a primary was held in Anambra, you know, what jurisdiction does that court have to entertain the matter? Because I know the issue of jurisdiction was raised severally, but instead of the judge to look into it, you know, he overruled it and went and gave judgment. I think there is so much judicial rascality in this country. We must understand there is rule of law and follow it accordingly. I see no reason why a, a high court in Abuja will give judgment over a primary that was conducted in Anambra State. Are they saying that we don't have high court in Anambra State? Even there is a federal high court in Anambra State that has jurisdiction to entertain such matters. So we should stop you know, embarrassing ourselves in the public in the name of, you know, rulings. I, I really think uh, the judge needs to be called to order. All right, and just to also let you know that this is quite participatory. The numbers are on your screen. Call us and, of course, join in the discussion this morning and, uh, of course, make your, your, your voice heard this morning. Uh, let's quickly look at um, 2019. No diaspora voting. INEC insists. That's a big one. Uh, um, electoral body um, creating light girl polling centers in Chad, Niger. PDP is saying that. But, Chad uh, and Niger actually. Now, now see, the question we need to ask ourselves, for us to carry out diaspora voting, we need to get our technology right. Mm -hmm. Have we gotten it right? And if the answer is no, then I don't think anybody, right-thinking person, should be talking about diaspora voting at this time, when our technology is not yet right. How functional is the card reader? You know, how efficient is the card reader that we want to start diaspora voting you know so i really don't think it, we are ripe for that mm -hmm. uh, we need to first of all work on our technology to ensure that when the diaspora voting is conducted it gives us free fair and credible election so we should first of all clamor for free fair credible election get our technology right then before we run, launch into diaspora voting right, then uh, the issue of uh, the uh, electoral act uh, being signed yes, i've always had my reservation the electoral processes has commenced 
and it's commenced with the 2010 Electoral Act as amended. Mm -hmm. Are they saying that in the middle of an election, we are going to jump into another okay. Electoral Act? Yes. I think the timing is wrong. Okay. They should allow the Electoral Act of yeah. 2010 that we have used to commence these electoral processes, yeah. complete this process, and they should ensure that they work on the amendment, make sure that all the clauses, uh, there's agreement between the presidency and the legislature, pass it into law for subsequent elections, so that we don't, you know, add it, because there will be definitely be a lot of litigation at the end of the day, you know, after the election. So you create problems and uh, there'll be a lot of lacuna whether to use the 2010 Electoral Act, uh, you know, or the 2017 as amended. So I really don't, I'm not a, a party to that. I, I've always advocated for us to complete this process with the 2010 as amended since we already have started with it. Because if you look at uh, the 2017 as amended, there is the, they stipulated how much a political party should collect for House of Reps, for Senate, for presidency, which the party in 2010 decides. decides okay. So are they saying that we're going to do a refund of those monies that you know, the party collected in excess? So let's not create more problems. Let them take their time, make sure that 2017 is I mean, signed for subsequent election, not for 20. All right, uh, um, thank you. Let's uh, move on to the election. next papers this morning, the Daily Times stories making the headlines. Citing bad gov governance, 71 reps seek return to parliamentary system. Say presidential system too expensive, unproductive. Proposed constitution amendment bill for inclusive government. Dialogue on PIB ongoing. That's coming from Buhari himself. 2019 post safeguard, in safeguard independence of judiciary. CJ tells judges. Fake news, hate speech, biggest threat to 2019 polls coming from the federal government. Libel suit uh, was never investigated by DSS. That's coming from Magu. Court sex, Abga, a number of South Senatorial candidate voids primary election. Let, let's look at a big story citing bad governance. 71 reps seek return to parliamentary system. Says presidential system too expensive and, and unproductive. unproductive. Uh, me, uh, I'm still of the opinion that we need to decentralize the power in Abuja. The, there is over concentration of power there. Okay. Let's get back to our regional governments. You know, the resource control. Where each region control their resources and contribute certain percentage to the center. With that, it will help the region to grow at their pace. It's quite unfortunate that the oil will be produced in south-south and southeast, and they will use it to develop south I mean, north, north east, northwest, north and north central, central. leaving south, south, and southeast that majorly produce this oil with vertically, virtually no, you know, developmental strides. Mm -hmm. So I am of the opinion that we should go back to our regional, you know, you know, you know policy, I mean, regional uh, representation where okay. the the regions will be allowed to grow at their pace. That's okay. my opinion. Libel suits. I was never investigated by DSS. Magu is the one speaking here. <laughs> the buhaha of uh, investigation and not investigation. Sometimes you read accusations and counter accusations okay. here and there. You know, at the end of the day, it doesn't come boy uh, come up with any meaningful you know solution to her problem. If Magu is supposed to be investigated, what stops him from being investigated? Is it that Magu is above the law? Mm. I mean, or if he has been investigated and people have said he's been investigated, why is he coming out to say otherwise? You know, we really need to look at our system. It's as if some people are so powerful you know, <laughs> that uh, there are no-go areas, non-touchables. There was a the time they invited him at the Senate. And he, yes, he and he's here. saying he wasn't <laughs> investigated. So what did the Senate invite him to come and do? <laughs> To come and give him a handshake. All right, judging I suppose, the guard independence of judiciary, CIM tells judges. Well, uh, I know we have three tier, uh, I mean, the, the various uh, tiers yeah, of government. Them, yeah. Yes, and the judiciary are supposed to be completely independent. I'm one of the people that advocate for their independencies. I'm not of the support of the, you know, executive or judiciary uh, or uh, national assembly having on due interference with, the, with their activities okay. and proceedings. But then notwithstanding, the judiciary also need to call a lot of their members to other like this kind of court judgment we were just talking about that happened yesterday in abuja that a high court of abuja is giving judgment that it does not have jurisdiction over these are not 
I mean, these are not what we should be getting from them. So why advocating, why, you know, championing for their, you know, independency, you know, we should also uh, advise them to do the right things mm -hmm. and forget about taking bribes because that has been our greatest the problem. They're being induced a lot, mm -hmm. you know, with financial gains and exactly. things like that. Gratifications. Yeah. All right, let's uh, move on to the next paper this morning, The Nation newspaper stories making the headlines 2019 buhari's veto specs battle of strength in senate anxiety among apc pdp members over president's rejection of electoral bill on top of that story nigeria owes iocs 5.1 billion dollars says nnpc insecurity quara apc shelves campaign Senate okays $1 billion for Ajao Kuta's completion. Moses marks 28th birthday with injury. Minimum wage tax at Villa today. Oh, there are other, other stories there. The media reported that APC has 57 senators, while PDP has 58. For the record, APC senators are 56, while PDP senators are 46. That's coming from Lawan. We cannot talk about the figures that each political party has because there is no such statistics. We have no such record now. That's coming from Equiri Mad. That's, 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 that's a crazy one. <laughs> you know, it, it would be quite pathetic that at this time they don't know the number of uh, senators with their political leanings in the in the in the National Assembly because each. But do member, you really want to believe that they don't know, or they're I trying mean, to play So games? if if they know and they claim they don't know that means they are deceiving nigerians well let us face the fact <laughs> so let's, let, well, let's face the fact why how would you explain to someone that you don't know the number of senator who you know and is, their political I don't, I don't understand. That, that's exactly what i'm saying it's crazy i don't know the kind of politics we play i don't know the kind of lies we fit to the general public it's so pathetic must everything be politicized i keep asking this question i mean these statistics are there you know, even if there are defections, we know those that have defected because you don't just defect without writing officially, you know, to the National Assembly. There, it will be read before, I mean, plenary that so so, you know, Senator has defected. Mm -hmm. So they shouldn't come out to tell us that they don't they know the records. number of people that are in APC, PDP, Afghan, things like that. That is deception. That <laughs> is deception. And I, I, should, I should not expect that from <laughs> high ranking you know, legislators. You know, it's pathetic. All right, let's look at the minimum wage. The talks will be holding today at the villa. That is also villa. Uh, please let this talk come to an end and let the civil servants start earning their pay. This we have over over um, overflowed this issue of uh, minimum wage. And a lot of stories are beginning to you know make the rounds of other countries recently. I think yeah, in, in, one thousand and something euro. Was it in yeah. Denmark or which yeah, of the country? One thousand and something euro. And you can actually convert it to Demand. Nigeria. Nigeria. If you convert you know, it to Naira, that's, that's you will close this place. Yes, so let's not do that conversion no, but, here. But that, you see, like. Okay, we also read about South Africa, and I think this particular one you're talking about is in, um, I think, Denmark or Italy. But let's let's come back home. Yes. Why why is it a big deal? And you know, we keep talking about this thing like it is a problem to affect a thirty thousand naira minimum wage. I think it's the system. The system is so bad. The system thinks of what they get and not how the majority of Nigerians survive. You know, because if they think Nigeria first, they will know that even the thirty thousand is nothing to write home about. Actually, it might uh, it might affect them. I mean, the politicians because it's yeah. been cut down. No, no, on no, no, no. All yeah. the all government needs to do is to cut down on wastages and spendings, possibly cut down on salaries and uh, enumeration of uh, political office holders. That's what they are running away from. No, but Why away, should they run away from away, 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 Why away. are they there? Are they not there because of us? Hmm. Are we not the same people that have given them our rights? We've transferred our rights to them to represent us there. Why, why, I, have a, why I have a big issue with this is we're, we're playing and complaining and talking about flogging issues of 30,000 and the federal government is adamant of the fact that 
we can't even they can't pay it. And now let's 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 assume let's assume that they finally pay this thirty thousand there right in our in our very present society now. What and what can it even afford? That's the million dollar question. Because, that's, because it's, 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 it's painful. We're, we're talking about you enforcing or endorsing something that still wouldn't even make any sense. That is it. And we're still fighting about yeah, it. But you know, like uh, the popular broken saying, at all, at all, I'm bad pass. That's it. Don't you think, don't you think, <laughs> I, I, I understand. But don't you think this statement yeah. has kept Nigeria as a country? where we are today because most times when we talk about having your right or knowing your right rather because i thought i thought now because you know now give me let me just eat you know and it you you, you lose it because things you're probably supposed to get you know it's your right because man you just give me let me eat and go my brother the the remuneration of uh, uh, you know civil servants is something that has you know given me serious concern over the years you know it, it, the last time i spoke about this here i was of the, of the opinion that there should be a review every two years there should be a commission you know that reviews you know the statistics are there the market prices index are there from the national bureau of statistics these are what should be used to form you know part of the review yeah. you know you know the cost of accommodation I mean, you know the cost of I mean, education, education you know by the time you put these things together so you should be able to that. say wow somebody you know uh, that is in uh, in maybe level one in civil service or level because, four should because, be able to earn so 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 amount it's exactly. painful you know that's we should be commensurate to his pending we, we should be looking forward to having politicians that has human hearts when you talk about politicians day. having human hearts you wonder <laughs> i wonder where we'll go get them from but let's I, believe right that you know in nigeria we, yeah, just need we to have a lot of out. them but the problem is that when such people come out to you know vie for political offices one sometimes they are not given the opportunity two they're not financially sometimes strong. they are not given the opportunity maybe because they are not able to bring out all the money, money. to spend because when you spend it the next thing is that you start looking out for it okay. you know even some of them that ends up getting there with that heart, when he, he gets, he or she gets to the parliament, the they subdue him. They won't. Is it not when they they give you audience to speak you will that speak. you will speak? All right, yes. you know we'll things like that. The, so they the will keep striving, paper. trusting God that one day we will surmount all these challenges and become a better nation. Making the headline on the punch this morning, Afeni Ferre organizes backs to one reps bill seeking parliamentary government. We have a uh, Buhari Rights National Assembly says our late 2019 budget to December 19. President OK 65 year retirement age for teachers, says Minister. Rep summon ministers, NMPC boards over illegal subsidy payments. Senate um, OK's $1 billion ECA funds for Ajakuta Steel Project. Richard is abduct sleeping mother's newborn baby. Federal government panel probes David Max offshore assets. Hetzman crisis, pain, anger of orphans in IDP can. Four feared dead in Lagos cult clash. Families demand justice. Finally, INEC PDP disagree over at least 3,000 illegal polling units. I think we should talk about that one. Yeah, yes. Well, uh, what I'm saying is that if PDP truly have seen 3,000 illegal polling units, mm -hmm. I next should do the needful and take those pulling units away from oh. there, you know. Okay. But we should not, because we are in an election year, Say what is start not, right? politicizing everything. Mm -hmm. And let me ask, did PDP just see the 3,000 illegal pulling units Probably. now no. because Probably. there's an election? Or they just want to score cheap political points. Point. That's it, the question now, I want to leave with. Let's quickly look at this one. President OK, 65-year retirement age for teachers, says Minister well uh, teachers are very big assets to us so uh, and uh, if professors in the university can retire at the age of 70 I don't think uh, it's bad for teachers to retire at 65 because they are very lovely assets to the nation a lot of them stick their life to ensure that we are all brought up so I think I, I commend that all right and that's it on the newspaper review this morning thank you so much Osta Onyemobi for very coming much. today <laughs> All right. All right. Um, that's that's actually the much we have on uh, newspaper review this morning. Well, and uh, of course, uh, our guest in the house, uh, Osita Mazi 
Osita Onyemo will be a public affairs commentator. Many thanks for joining us this morning. Thank you very much. All right, we'll be meeting you on the other side. Of course, me and my gorgeous queen, we'll be meeting you on the other side. Don't go anywhere. Good morning, and we'll continue shortly.